So I, I put a video up on my Instagram recently, which was um, all about an analogy. So it was talking about anxiety as though it was kind of like water in a bathtub. And so you can imagine that uh, a 10 out of 10 uh, anxiety level is conducive to a panic attack. A zero out of 10 is just absolute ecstasy and elation, best day of your life, most satisfying, calming, relaxing day of your life, that kind of thing. Um, as you work up the scale, you're going to see the analogy kind of makes sense. So someone's put a bath plug in the bath and has continued to allow the water to run. So the, the water is beginning to get to that point where you want to either turn the tap off or take the bath plug out so the bath doesn't overflow. That's kind of how you can see this accumulative effect of your anxiety. You can imagine, you know, stressful commute, boss has given you shit, whole bunch of stuff, financial debt, uh, relationship issues, you know, that anxiety level is going zero, one, two, three, four, beyond five, it starts to get pretty insane. And then uh, one kind of little, you know, mouse that rocked the boat can, can push you into a panic attack or something like that where the bath starts to overflow. But what I want you guys to think about, and this is some of the stuff that I've been talking about with my clients recently, is watching and really focusing on how you feel from a day-to-day -day perspective. So you might wake up and be a three, and then you might have a, you know, you might be having your coffee in, in the morning. I love coffee, by the way. Yes, it can initiate that kind of adrenaline response, that sympathetic nervous system response, but coffee is also great tasting as well. So you've got to factor that in. Uh, you might be a three and you might go, I wonder why I'm a three. And you're like, oh, that's right. I had that thought last night, which reminded me of that experience when two years ago. And I, I never really rectified that. I've got to, I must, I must speak to them and just apologize. Or I must speak to them and make sure they know where I'm coming from, you know, and you can kind of work in that so that, you know, because they say, what do they say? Um, a guilty, con a, a guilt free conscience is the best pillow. It makes the best pillow. I think that's an old German expression, I think. But it, there's, there's so much truth to that, you know? Um, so, start to have a feel about where your anxiety comes from because it comes from many different places. You know, I try to do this every day, you know, not, not necessarily just from external cues in the present, you know, a big bang, oh, bang, now I'm a four. <laughs> I don't do it that meticulously, but uh, sometimes it can be from past experience. It can be this low that you're carrying, you know, like a very, um, like an overflowing inbox of all these emails that you've never responded to.